Hello everyone, this is Hanbon Kim from GoodTask. On this video, I'll explain basic interface of GoodTask. As you already know, GoodTask manages data from default Reminders app. Lists from Reminders are the main data source that's used in GoodTask. Inside Settings, Lists and Calendars, you can check which Reminders lists you want to use in GoodTask. Same goes with Calendars. On Lists view, you'll see Smart Lists and Reminders lists. All the Reminders lists selected in Settings are shown here. Smart Lists are a special way to show selected tasks from those Reminders lists. I'll explain Smart Lists in detail on another video. By tapping Edit button on top right, you can rearrange and delete lists. You can also add group or add space to manage how lists are shown. Long tapping on a list will show you contextual menu. You can edit, share, reorder or delete a list. You can optionally duplicate if it's a smart list. You can add a new smart list or reminders list by tapping plus at the bottom. This button opens report page which will show you your history about completed tasks. This button will open next page which lets you highlight the task that's up next. There's a smart button on bottom right. This button will let you move through lists super fast. You can tap and then tap a list. Or you can put your finger down and swipe up and release to move to that list right away. You can add and edit favorite lists inside settings, favorites to make it show here. When you go into a list, you'll see the tasks on that list. Every list has four views, which are list view, day view, week view, and month view. You can tap buttons at the bottom to move between views. List view shows all the tasks on that list. Day, week, and month views shows tasks on that selected date range. You can swipe the calendar area on top to move between previous dates and future dates. On previous dates, you'll see completed tasks on that date. If you have a list memo, it'll be shown below the calendar. By tapping circle button on top right, completed tasks and past events will be shown or hidden. Three dot more button will give you options to edit the list, share list, change sort options, run bulk actions, refresh, search, and edit list memo. Tapping a task will show task detail page. Please check release notes 5.1 and 5.2 for more details about this page. Tapping circle on the list will complete the task. It can also be done inside task disk detail page. Adding task is done with this plus button on bottom right. It's identical to task detail page. You may tap add more to make additional tasks with the values you've previously set. On iPad, you get three pane interface. By tapping window like button, it'll show hide, left and right panes. You can use lots of keyboard shortcuts to make use of various features. You can make multiple windows and let it behave separately if needed. For example, you can put a separate list on split view and work on another. Or you can keep next page or focus page on one window and use the whole app on another. Mac version has basically similar interface but on Mac's language. You'll see the lists on the left pane. Tasks on the middle with toolbar on top to change views and run actions. You may select multiple tasks and use right click to easily run quick actions. You can hide both left and right panes. There are also lots of keyboard shortcuts you can use, like on iPad to manage tasks quickly. Okay, that's it for today. I'll come back soon with more videos soon. Thanks!